Hello and welcome back to Easy English with James. Today we're going to be learning all about the letter U in English. Now, the letter U is the 21st letter in the English alphabet. It's a vowel letter and it's the final of the vowel sounds that we're going to be learning about. And there are actually up to 11 ways to pronounce this letter in English. So if you want to master this sound, stick with me as we go through all of the ways to pronounce this letter in English. Okay, so the first way that we can pronounce the letter U in English is as an uh sound. Uh, uh. This is like the interjection, uh-oh, uh-oh, that sound at the beginning, uh, uh-oh, is this uh sound, uh sound, and it's really easy to make. You just sort of relax your mouth open a little bit and uh, 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 uh uh-oh, uh-oh, okay? Now, some people say this is a little bit like a stressed version of the schwa sound in English, that schwa sound that you find in words like about, about. This is like you were to say it if it was about, about with a stressed version of the schwa sound and it's because the mouth position is nearly the same so ah 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 now this pronunciation of the letter u is really common in short three letter words in english words like fun gun or sun but cut or nut and bus or us Okay, have a look at all of those words and practice them because they're quite common. Fun, gun and sun, but, cut and rut and bus and us. It's also found in words where the letter U comes before a double consonant. Words like funny or butter or summer or sunny. Funny butter, summer, and sunny. Sometimes when the U is followed by two different consonants, it's also pronounced with that uh sound, like in husband, or lucky, or Sunday, or thunder. Husband, lucky, Sunday, or thunder. So try this practice sentence. On a lucky sunny summer Sunday, the husband had fun in the sun. On a lucky sunny summer Sunday, the husband had fun in the sun. Okay, practice that as many times as you need to, to master that uh pronunciation of the letter U. Now, the second way that we can pronounce the letter U in English is how it's pronounced in the alphabet as U. You, you. And if you're clever, you might notice that this is exactly the same as the word you, like you and me, you and him, you and her, you, you. And to get this pronunciation absolutely perfect, make sure your lips finish like this you, you, you. Now, this pronunciation of the letter U is also really common. And it's especially common in words where there is a magic E. And in many, many of my other videos, you'll see me teach you all about that magic E. But if you want to check out the biggest lesson about the magic E, check out my video on the letter E up here, okay? In this case, it's words where you see the letter U followed by a consonant and then magic E at the end. And that consonant can be any one of these consonants that you can see on the screen now. B, F, G, H, K, M, P, and W, okay? If you see the letter U followed by any one of those consonants and then a magic E, there's a good chance that you'll be pronouncing it U, U, okay? Let's have a look at some words. So, number one, in the word contribute, 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 you've got bu, bu, bute, u-t-e, b-u-t-e, bute, contribute. 
You might also hear contribution, contribution here. Then we have words like diffuse, 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 or even diffusion, diffusion. Some of these are quite advanced words, so you should probably be taking notes about this vocabulary too. And then words like legume, legume, legume. Does anybody know what that word means? What is a legume? If you know, write that in the comment below. Legume, legume. Here you've got the letter G, U, M, E. G, U, M, E, gume, gume. Then of course in the common word, huge, huge, hue. It's quite a difficult sound to make with the H. Huge, huge. When something is very big, it is huge, huge. Then words like Cube, 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 the cube. Or words like mute, mute, M-U-T-E. Mute, mute, mute. When you want no sound, you press mute, mute. And of course, words like dispute, dispute. A dispute between two people, a dispute, dispute. This pronunciation of the letter U is also fairly common in words where you see the letter U followed by a consonant and then another vowel. And this happens a lot in words where you see the letter U then T-I-O-N or S-I-O-N. For example, in distribution, distribution or confusion, confusion. Now there are also really common words like human, human, or music, music, or computer, that also have this long U sound. Music, music, or computer, computer. And of course, all of us, I hope, are human, human. Try this crazy sentence so that you can practice that U sound now. A huge, mute, distributed, human, music, computer. A huge, mute, distributed, human, music, computer. That's quite a tough one, but it has lots of those U, U sounds in. So go back and practice that another couple of times. Now, sometimes American English and British English, the accent that I'm using, can differ on the pronunciation here. Look at words like duty, duty. In my accent, that U is pronounced with this sound, you, duty, duty, it is my duty. But in American English, it is often pronounced duty, duty, with just an oo, not a u, oo, you. The sound we're going to look at next is that oo sound without y on the front, you. But duty in British English or duty in American English. Also the case with words like reduce or reduce. Reduce in British English, reduce in American English. The same with consume. Consume in British English or consume, consume in American English. Okay, so it's important to remember that there are some pretty big differences here between American pronunciation and British pronunciation of this sound within a word. And this, of course, brings us to the third way to pronounce the letter U in English, which is, of course, oo, oo. Different to the second way that we pronounce the letter U, the second way was U, U. And there's like almost like a letter Y on the front, U. But the number three, the third way, is oo, oo, oo. This is found in words like flu, flu, or truth truth, or june, june, and rune. Flu, truth, june, and rune. Flu, truth, june, and rune. It's quite common to see the letter U pronounced like this after the letter L, especially two Ls, like in illumination, illumination, illuminate, okay? But also conclude, conclude, or conclusion conclusion. There is one major exception to this rule though, and that is the word volume, volume, which in British English at least is pronounced with that U, volume, not volume, volume. 
Turn up the volume or turn down the volume. Turn up the volume on this video if you want to make sure you can hear me very, very clearly. Now this oo sound is also common in words where you see u and e together, like blue or roo. Okay, blue and roo. So try this quick sentence, okay? The blue illumination of June's rune. The blue illumination of June's rune. The blue illumination of June's rune. Okay? The fourth way to pronounce the letter U in English is O. Oh. O. Oh. Look at these words. Bull. Bull. And pull. Pull. Now, what makes these words special is they do have that dark L sound at the end, like a all, all, all. And if you want to learn all about the dark L, make sure you check out my video on the letter L up here right now. But in these words, the letter U is pronounced slightly differently. It's pronounced with this sound. O, oh, O, oh, bull, bull, and pull, and full, full. Also, in the common word sugar, Sugar. We don't say sugar. We say oh, sugar. Sugar. Would you like some sugar? I'm full. Full. So as you can see, it's pretty common in words where you see the letter U followed by L and L again, like bull or pull or full or bully. But this is where the letter U becomes tricky because there are lots and lots of exceptions to this rule. And the accents around the USA and the UK vary, that means they're different, quite a lot between how people pronounce this letter U. So it can vary between two sounds, this all, all, bull and pull, or in other words, like for example, skull or null or hull, you'll probably hear the first sound that we learned today, skull or null, or hull, that ul, uh, uh, uh. So big, big difference. And it's not too important that you master this sound exactly, okay? What do I mean by that? It means that even in the English native speaking world, lots of people pronounce this letter U slightly differently. The most important thing is that you pronounce it clearly so that most people can understand the word that you're trying to put across, trying to say, okay? Skull, null, and hull with that uh sound and bull, pull, and full with that uh sound, okay? So try this quick sentence now for me. Pull the full bull from the bush of sugar. Pull the full bull from the bush of sugar. Pull the full bull from the bush of sugar. You can also try this one. The cuckoo fulfilled the bulletin from the pulpit. The cuckoo fulfilled the bulletin from the pulpit. The cuckoo fulfilled the bulletin from the pulpit. Okay, practice those as many times as you need to. Now, the fifth way to pronounce the letter U in English is a little bit strange. It's actually pronounced like a W sound. Looks like a letter W. Look at words like language, 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 or even linguistics, which is kind of like what we're studying right now, language and linguistics, language and linguistics. Here, the letter U is pronounced almost like w, language language and linguistics. You'll also see this in words like penguin, penguin, or question, qu, qu, question, penguin or question. It's a pretty weird pronunciation, but it's in some common words like question. I have a question, qu, question. Now, it's often pronounced like a w after a certain list of letters. So let's go through them now. The first is G and U. When you see G and U together in words like bilingual, bilingual or anguish, bilingual or anguish. So G and U, gw, gwul and guish, bilingual and anguish. Also, when you see Q and U together, like in quick, quick, or quiet, or question, 
Quick, quiet question. I want to ask a quick, quiet question. That's a good way to practice that. Quick, quiet question. See how fast you can say it. Quick, quiet question. A quick, quiet question. Also, when you see S and U together, like in persuade, persuade, and sweet, persuade, and sweet. Again, sw, sweet, sweet. And of course, in one of my favorite funny sounding words, when you see the letters H and U together, like in the word chihuahua, a chihuahua, okay, chihuahua. Or even sometimes J-U in words like marijuana, marijuana, okay? So try this practice sentence to master this sound. The quiet, quick, high quality chihuahua was quite bilingual. The quiet, quick, high quality chihuahua was quite bilingual. Okay, the sixth way to pronounce the letter U in English is I, I. Now, this comes quite unexpected to most people. It's a weird thing that the letter U can be pronounced I, but it is. Look at words like busy, busy, or business, business, businessman, businesswoman, or even words like lettuce, lettuce. And there's one really important word here, minute, minute, one minute. I hear a lot of students saying minute, minute or minute, but it's actually minute with I, I. minute, one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, okay, minute. Make sure you're pronouncing that correctly. One minute, two minute, three minute, four minute, okay? It's also pronounced like this as an I when it comes together with the letter I. So when you see U and I together in words like biscuit, biscuit or circuit, biscuit, circuit. Just look for the U and the I together there. Biscuit, circuit. I love biscuits, by the way. They're some of my favorite snacks to eat. Biscuits, biscuits. Okay, so once again, try this difficult sentence. The busy businessman ate a circuit of biscuits before doing business. The busy businessman ate a circuit of biscuits before doing business. The busy businessman ate a circuit of biscuits before doing business. Now, the seventh way we can pronounce the letter U in English is with this trifong sound, ua, 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 ua. Listen to words like cure, or secure, or pure, pure, secure, and cure. This is sometimes common, and you'll probably notice straight away that you need the letters U and R and E together. Cure, pure, pure. Now, this is sometimes known as a posh sound, which means that certain accents in parts of the world pronounce this more than other accents do. Cure, cure. If you speak like this, people might think you're very, very posh. There are, in most of the UK where I live, you'll hear cure, cure, pure, and secure. Okay, it's much, much shorter sound. But if you want to speak absolutely perfectly, the correct pronunciation here for this accent is cure, pure, and secure. Okay, but just be aware that you will sound rather posh. Now, this can be confusing because the eighth way that we can pronounce this letter U is also found in words with U-R-E. It is the OR sound, found in words like sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. Now, if you wanted to be super, super posh, you could probably say, I'm sure, I'm sure, but that sounds almost too posh for most people. So most people just say, sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. Are you sure? I'm sure. Yes, I'm sure. Also in words where sure is part of the word, like insure, insure, insurance, insurance, or to insure something. This is unfortunately something you're just gonna have to memorize. Some words will have that pure, and some will just be or, sure, sure. Okay, so make sure you check every time that you pick up a new word, if it's got U, R, and E, that it's either that uh or or. Now, the ninth way to pronounce the letter U in English is also very common in U-R-E words. And it's the famous 
schwa sound, okay? There are lots of lessons I've done on this schwa sound. It is by far the most common sound in English and it's super important that you master this sound if you want to achieve proper fluency in your English pronunciation, okay? So when do we find, when, when do we use this? Think of words like figure, figure, figure. Now, in figure, we're just saying figure. That U-R-E is just pronounced like a schwa. A, uh, figure, figure. This is very common where U-R-E comes at the end of two-syllable words, three-syllable words, or even longer words. Figure, creature, adventure, nature. All of those have U-R-E on the end, but it's pronounced just like a schwa. So remember, if you see U-R-E at the end, it's probably pronounced, especially in British English, just as a, uh, a, uh, nature adventure, creature, or figure. Nature, adventure, creature, or figure. Also in picture and temperature. What is the temperature today? What is the temperature today where you are, by the way? It's really cold in England still this time of year. It's a little bit strange. It's normally warm at this time of the year in the UK, but at this time, it's still pretty cold at the moment. What is the temperature where you are right now? Write that in the comments below. Now, the letter U is also pronounced as a schwa in some common words, like Saturday. We don't say Saturday, we say Sata. Saturday. Also, a word that everybody knows after the past couple of years, the word virus. Vi-rus. Virus. A virus. Okay, Saturday, virus. Supply, that's another one. Supply and support. Both, both supply and support have an unstressed letter U, which means we know what to do when we see an unstressed vowel sound in English. It's nearly always that schwa, supply and support. Okay, now the tenth way we can pronounce the letter U in English is quite rare. It's not often pronounced like this, but you will see it sometimes. It's pronounced as eh, eh. What words do you think it's pronounced as an eh in? Words like bury, bury, or buried. To bury someone, he was buried, okay? If you can find any more words with that eh pronunciation for the letter U, write them in the comments below, because I couldn't actually find that many, but I do know these two, bury and buried, okay? Here, the letter U is pronounced eh, eh, like in the color red, eh, or head, Eh, eh, eh. Okay, bury and buried. Okay, moving on to the 11th way that we can pronounce the letter U, and of course, this time, it's not pronounced at all because it is a silent letter. And the letter U can be silent quite a lot in English. Such as when it comes with U and A in words like guard or guardian. We don't pronounce it like guard, we say guard, just G-A, guard. So U and A together, guard and guardian. Also with U and E together in words like guest and guess. Guest and guess, a guest in a hotel. And can you guess the answer? Also with U and I in words like guide, guide, or even guilty, a different pronunciation of the letter I, but guilty and guide. Also, finally, when you see the letters U and E together, especially at the end of a word, the letter U is nearly always silent. In fact, both the letters U and E here are nearly always silent. Think of words like tongue, tongue, or check, check, or technique, technique, and unique. Tongue, check, technique, and unique. We're not pronouncing the U and the E at all here. And it's very, very common that if you see the U and E at the end, it's just not pronounced. It's pretty much always silent. Now, there's an interesting fact here, actually, because in American English, when you see L-O-G-U-E, that log, log, they actually spell this differently in American English to British English because the U and the E is never pronounced in British or American English. So the Americans kind of said, we don't need that U and E at all. So look at words like analog, analog. In British English, it's spelled like this, 
But in American English, it's spelled like this. Analog, analog. And the reason the Americans probably chose this is because you can't hear the U and the E. The U and the E is silent at the end. Analog and analog. Also catalog and catalog. Or dialogue and dialogue. Dialogue, dialogue. The dialogue, okay, to speak, dialogue. The dialogue of this video. So again, remember that in American English, they don't even write the U and the E here because it's always silent. In British English, we do write the U and the E, but it is not pronounced, okay? It is always silent. Okay, now for this lesson, I've chosen some really, really difficult tongue twisters. I usually choose some quite difficult tongue twisters, but for this lesson, they are especially difficult. So you're gonna need to practice this many, many times, okay? Have a look at this one. Unruly uncles, uncork, unusually ultraviolet, ultra-thin, Ukuleles. Unruly uncles, uncork, unusually ultraviolet, ultra thin ukuleles. Okay, finally, I have a quick test for you. Have a look at the words that you can see on the screen right now. And I want you to pick the odd one out. One of these words has a different U sound to all the other words. If you know which word it is, I want you to write that in the comments below. Test your English, okay? Now, guys, I want to thank you again for waiting so long for this video. It took a really, really long time to make, and I've been super, super busy lately. So hopefully, very, very soon, we'll finish off this series. We've got V, W, X, Y, and Z to go, and they're quite easy letters to make, so it should be finished pretty soon. Thanks for sticking with me. I really hope that these videos are useful in helping you to improve your English pronunciation. If you have any questions, write them in the comments. If you have any videos that you'd like me to make, also, pop them in the comments below, okay? Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and share this video with anybody that you think might be helped by the pronunciation tips inside this video, okay? Have a really nice day and I'll see you again soon for the next lesson. Bye-bye.